Are you ready to rock or what? Yeah, tell me what to, tell me where to put my penis. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be talking about Tony Huge, one of the most controversial figures in the world of bodybuilding. We'll dive into who he was before becoming a fitness and supplement ambassador. And we'll even share some juicy stories about his beef with Leo and longevity. If you're curious about who Tony is, what he does, and want to hear the inside scoop, then this video is definitely for you. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on more videos about this topic and uncover the hidden secrets of bodybuilders. Anthony Hughes, also known as Dr. Tony Huge, was born in 1982 in Sacramento, California, and started modeling for magazines as a teenager. He's not actually a doctor, but rather a former bankruptcy lawyer who reinvented himself over the years, becoming an ambassador for a supplement company and creating his own personal brand in the bodybuilding world through Instagram and YouTube. There are other interesting tidbits about his life, like the first time he appeared on TV in an Indian program called Porous, and in a 2019 movie called Enhanced. He then started appearing on the most famous podcasts, claiming his desire to be free to experiment with all the strong supplements that he claims to create himself. Finally, he had a career as a bodybuilder, achieving decent results, with his listed stats at his peak being 5 foot 10 and 240 pounds. So far, it seems like he lived a pretty good life, but it's not quite that simple. His desire to experiment with drugs and create new ones wasn't just for personal use, but became an actual business that brought him many problems. Before we dive deeper into his chaotic and borderline illegal life, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. What is the strongest anabolic steroid that's in existence and relatively accessible? In the spring of 2018, a judge told him, Hey, Huge, you got to come back to the U.S. for a deposition. Basically, that means he had to give a sworn statement. The investigation was about enhanced athletes who were selling drugs that weren't what they said they were. It turns out that Huge's company was also selling fake SARMs that were spiked with pro-hormones and who knows what else. So they're more energizing, and I like to use them before workouts because they boost your mood. Um, they're just more uplifting, and they stack well with pre-workouts as well as what I People have been complaining on forums for years about some of the weird side effects from taking them. What really happened was never clear, with Huge claiming to just be an unpaid ambassador, when, in fact, he acted as if he was the owner and founder of the company. Eventually, evidence showed that he directly profited from the company and was its main director. His business partner, Scott Cavell, took the brunt of the punishment, being sentenced to three years in prison, while Tony, helped by his knowledge as a lawyer, managed to get away with it. It said that the way he had set up the company was perfect to avoid taking the blame himself. When are you suing, when or if are you suing Rutan and Tucker for malpractice? Do you have any plans to do that? No. Recently, there was another incident in the Philippines where he had been living for some time. His friend and roommate, Leo and Longevity, was found dead. Yes, it is true that Leo Longevity has passed away. The situation is still unclear, and authorities are investigating. Tony is now under the spotlight for this matter. In his YouTube channel, he has made several videos explaining his point of view and what happened but it's still uncertain whether he's partially responsible for the death of Leo and longevity. One thing is certain, he was not the best role model. He was on the floor and his body's blocking the door, so I didn't hear from him for a few days. If you're enjoying the video, please like, subscribe, and write in the comments what you think of Tony Huge. I could reach in with my hand and I could feel his leg cold and it's said that tony huge has been experimenting on himself with various types of muscle growth drugs especially those he created for decades huge did a podcast at the end of summer in 2021 with chris bell and said that with all the blood clots he has throughout his body 
one could detach at any moment and cause a heart attack. This prophecy came true a few months later when he had a heart attack. After various tests, it was revealed that he had very high levels of inflammation and admitted that his abuse of chemical substances and anabolic steroids over the years had weighed down his heart. When they did some tests, they found out that his D-dimer score was off the charts at over 2,500, when it's supposed to be under 500. On top of that, his CPK and CKMB levels were way higher than they should be, too. His doctor told him, dude, you need surgery ASAP. It turns out his mitral valve was all messed up and needed to be fixed. That's one of the valves that helps your blood flow in and out of your heart. So it's kind of important. It's said that the cause of this was the decades-long use of anabolic steroids and other supplements created by him. It's not known for certain if this is true. Additionally, there are many people who have claimed to have taken these supplements from him. Some are very happy because they have seen incredible results in a short time. But in the long run, they've had many problems. At the moment, we don't yet know the truth about this matter, and we don't know if these are just rumors from people who want visibility or if they're things that actually happened. For years, Tony Huge has been the target of criticism for his controversial and sometimes over-the-top life. He has had legal troubles and now finds himself in the middle of another incident. As a person who has tried to build a new life for himself, he is admirable. But how he did it is up to you to comment on. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the channel and let us know in the comments what you think of Tony Hughes.